got a book of matches here. So if I just take that out, show it to you. Normal book of matches. And uh, I'm just going to take one out. Rip it out and give it a light. Okay. I'll set the matches down and wait for this to cool off. Okay. So I can just take it. I'll squeeze in my hand. And if I squeeze hard enough, the match vanishes. And back in the matchbook, and it's very placed, is the match that returned to the book and is still burnt and you can see it's still attached and I can tear it out and it's the very match. To do this trick you're just going to need a book of matches and if you want a lighter, uh, the lighter is if you don't have that many matches in the matchbook like I don't, I've only got a couple in here right now. So to start off this trick. Uh, before you show it to a spectator, you're going to need a little preparation, and that is to take a match, any match, I like to do one in the middle, and take it, bend it, but don't take it out of the book, so it'll just look like that. Take a lighter, or take another match, light it, and light this one, and blow it out. So one match should be burnt in the matchbook, put it back. So it's going to look like this, so there will be one, and it's still attached. Now, uh, hide the lighter if you had one, go to a spectator, and here's what you're going to do. You're going to open up a, open up the book of matches, and you're going to take your thumb, or any finger, and cover it, so it looks like this. So, going back, your thumb is covering up the burnt one, but it's still attached. So after you show them, you could either have them pick a match, or you just take a match, and you're going to take it, rip it out, and be careful not to show the one back here. Uh, the way I light a match is, I just squeeze over here, but you could just light it however you want, but be careful not to show the match behind your thumb. So, light the match, blow it out, and while it's, blown, while it's lit, uh, they're going to be distracted by that because everybody likes fire. You tuck the match back in, you fold it up, you close it, and you set it down, or you can let them hold on to it. But you, if you will let them hold on to it, you have to make sure, just put it in your hand and cover it. Don't open it. Just put it in your hand and just cover it like that so I can't get to it. And so once they have the book or you have it set down, you're going to take it and you're going to do a French drop and a French drop. In magic, you just take your hand. It looks like you have it, but it's really in the other hand. And this is usually just for coins, but in matches, it's basically the same thing. Uh, you just want to practice how you want to go about this. You may want to just take a couple fingers, because if you reach like that, it might be obvious. So, just take it, act natural in this hand, when it's really in this hand, and just drop it off the edge while you have their attention on this one. Squeeze it, or, do, or wave your hand over it or something, and make it vanish. Show them all, your hands. And then carefully pick this up so it doesn't look like you're sneaking anything in it. And maybe pick it up with two fingers or something. Lift it up and show them that the match is in there and it's attached. And most importantly, it's burnt. And they can pull it out. You can pull it out. Just make sure you show them that it's attached and that it's burnt. And that is the trick. So it's pretty cool. Uh, like always, if you have any questions, just comment and I'll be happy to answer. So thanks for watching.